some of them up. Zaya and what I assume is going to be the Gwen locked in here. You could have a fantastic time in your team fight, but PSG do end up locking it in. So they've got two fantastically powerful solo laners and a Viego to try and facilitate as well. A lot of positive early game coming out here from PSG. Yeah, the PSG definitely going to be looking to get up in your face and look for these engaged tools, trying to use Gwen as that front line with the immune. But I think the big issue that you're probably going to see is that like when you get this engaged tool from Kai Wing, attacks work pretty well at uh, getting these very quick concussive blows off and now we're going to see if Ming can kind of uh, find a little bit more of a blow on towards Yuhan. I mean you got the early priority in mid, you've got a priority in bot. Now be careful though, blue will go over, wave's going to be flashed on, not dumped, double stunned. We're going to see now Ming going to snap behind me as he tries to jump over the wall and that's going to be the Vex taken out. Xiaohu was in tow and he knew exactly where he needed to be. Now Juhan, he's trying to see if he can get away from this but the concussive blows make that very, very difficult. You got to go to a doctor, my son, because your head's been cracked open. Uh, the triumph comes in for Wei, so he stays up, and now PSG already two kills down. RNG, when they hit that point, that's when they're super strong. That's where they're able to play towards neutrals, but that's also where PSG are at their biggest strength. Because uh, when you look at like the way that they actually play back home in the PCS, they have the opportunity to kill the front line of RNG very quickly and take over. Problem though is that 23 CS lead the top side, Bin having full push, a plate to himself as well, and Rift. Oh, they're going straight down to Xiaohu, who's going to have the Spirit Rush to get himself out, has to use the Flash as well. The Rift Herald was taken by Wei, and now Juhan's in a little bit of a bad situation. He needs to flash away, but he's been met and equaled by the side of RNG's way, and that's going to be Ming picking up a kill. Now they can flash in. They're going to try and get Bin up to his Mega Nard. They try and take down Xiaohu. Finally, he falls. A Excuse me, the ultimate from Unified alongside the heal is Ming now in a little bit of trouble. He's going to try and get the concussive blows down to try and save the rest of his team. While this is all happening, it's just Bing getting right up to Mega. They jump right down. It's the big beefy boy. He's trying to make it work, but he snipes someone out. No, he cannot. PSG find a fight. Lads, Dell is a pot lane. Why are we fighting four versus five? You got the kill. You got the Rift Herald. Spot for Unified here to try and follow up. Oh, Bin and Wei trying to make this one work. TP going to be coming in, and it's going to be the Volley Bear taken very low and taken out. This is regular season oh, RNG. <laughs> <laughs> Already getting that early uh, Rift Gerald for themselves. I mean, you look at their drain control back home, it's you know, second in the league. It's neutral objective control. Well, this will be four for four in the early game for to secure it. But you can see PSG Talon trying to make sure that they don't give this one up for free. Now, Bay in a little bit of trouble here. Charm goes wide with the Glaze official. There's not. They're going to be able to increase the engage with the quickness and then come back in on top of this. It's a trade of support, though, for your mid laner. You take that as RNG. You will get the Heartbreaker out. Kai Wing has to flash away. They've also committed the TP. That's going to be the Gwen with Ghost and Ultimate coming back into this fight. But look at the poke coming out from Gala right now. These Mystic shots are just doing so much work. You can't re-engage. And now, RNG have just found their way in onto the tower as well. I mean, there's nobody here to defend it because PSG have taken far too much damage. Rift Tower will go down. Means he can actually get the charge onto the second turret here as well. Terror will be traded for Unified in the top bot lane, lane, but, you know, two for one already with Terror, as he's saying, top side also under threat. This is just, it looks scrappy from RNG, and it is, but then you look at the gold, and they're just catapulting everything ahead. But this is why they were able to beat top esports, right? It's not the early game, it's how strong they're making it, how well they can play the map with Puppet Master Shen. The days of old, the reminiscing days of uh, spring 2022. You can see now Juhan trying to see if he can catch out Wei, but no one really going to go for this. And this is a Hex Dragon Soul. So there's some creative ways you can go for this, but they're going to have the charm. The Glacier Fisher comes out, and that's going to be Juhan dead straight away. TP coming in, that's going to be the Mega Nard coming off of this one. And he gets straight in on top of the fight. The Gwen tries to make something work, but it's just not good enough. There was a TP from Bay, but it wasn't anywhere near the fight. Yeah, Bay says, hey, it quickly dips out of the back of the fight. He wanted nothing to do with it. But that's what we're talking about, right? You can see RNG where the engage comes through. And you don't really feel the pressures or RNG to quickly start this, right? Because you have complete control of the map. Here we go, Shadow Surge lands on the Gala. He gets feared, he gets taken down. The turret was taken in the meantime. We're gonna see now Juhan cannot get any more reset. There's been on the back side of this with some good feathers from Unified. But a three-man into the wall! Being almost 
tables, turns it back around, but it's too many resets, too much damage, and Gwen is immune as PSG finally find them a fight. That was huge from Bay, being able to find that ultimate, sneak it on towards Gala, and demolish the main source of damage from RNG. And just like that, PSG, they find that brief moment of with to poke, Ming able to slow you down, being even threatened with the Megadar, and go. then the dragon's already gone. It's already gone, you've already too late to find it. That's gonna be Exol, and they got the slow and the damage coming down. There's a great Glacial Fisher right up the middle of that choke point, and everything's already been used by PSG to try and get away. You don't have any more tools to fight, you have to use them to survive. Double kill going to Xiaohu on this Ari, and you gotta feel like that's gonna be the final nail in the coffin. I mean, it's Soul, it's gonna be Baron as well as RNG starts to move over and PSG they tried their damnedest being able to get that one nice fight in bot side but it just isn't going to be enough RNG again looking to push themselves to 2-0 and at the end of our second day. RNG just being RNG yes their early game kind of sucked but it didn't matter unless you get caught out like here but Wayne's got himself a stopwatch and he's gonna be able to turn it back around this time though you got you and got your team Drew Honda to, to keep you alive with the Hextech Soul, they're slowing everyone down, and yeah, you had to go for something. Honestly, PSG talent, I admire the effort. Yeah, I mean, look, for you see some teams who would just kind of try and turtle, sit back in their base and not do a huge amount. 15 seconds. Yep, and you're getting assaulted in mid and in top. You will lose the inhibitor in top side. You may even lose your Gwen in the mid lane as he goes forward. Xiaohu knows how that W works, and the Gwen is no longer immune. Now Xiaohu wants a little bit more blood. We're going to see them trying. Just honestly saying, look, you're evicted. Get out of your house. You don't live here anymore. Yeah, we're on the wrong side of the map. PSG look like they're trying to siege up, but Orange are like, no, you're not allowed in here anymore. And now with the top lane inhibitor going down, mid soon to follow. Low. The base is in shambles for PSG talent. Still got Baron Buff up for another 50 seconds. You've got minion waves in mid and top. It looks like they're gonna just try and reset the side of the team, but now with triple in him. A little bit of minions left for them as well. Gala is feeling confident. Gala is feeling good. And we're going to see the final fight coming out for PSG. Can they delay this fight? As we can see the Shadow Surge all the way out in the backside. But the charm was good as Bay finally takes down Gala. They are trying to get the resets going here. And Juhan's doing some very good work and keeping himself alive. They can't get the Vex out though. And eventually, it was a valiant effort. They will end up having to back away. And I don't think they can survive much longer. No, that is going to be it. RNG at the end of day two are going to hit that. 2-0. Oh, got us wait for two seconds right now because these health bars are a little bit low. Never mind. They're going to have to push in on top of this one now. The Flash, the Charm, the only person who could have done any possible damage is dead. RNG 2-0, PSG 0-2 and two at the end of day two. Yeah, and you can see it there, right? The the difference between RNG's early game versus RNG's mid game. We saw a little bit of the fumbles coming through, but way overextending that bit too far, trying to go a bit over aggressive.